Dateline, Salon, France, April 2017. We have assembled some of the finest sporting journalists in the world. Everything that's new from gunmakers, Browning and Winchester. And how much ammunition? 24,000. <laughs> Nothing left. And we have Italian trick shooter Raniero Testa. We are on a private estate in France's top hunting region. Not to go hunting, but to try out every toy on the new inn shelf at the toy shop. First up, it's rifles. <laughs> I can't hold up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> There are actually some unbroken. Oh, yes! <laughs> the morale was fun. I shot the morale before, looking forward to getting my one, so not really. I just enjoy pumping rounds through it. The bars, again, is a, is a guilty pleasure. There's nothing we can do about that. Expend all rounds in perimeter. <laughs> so we had a, a morale and a bar. The BAR is, BAR is the, uh, the semi-automatic, which, which we can't use in the UK, and the, and the, and the morale is the, the straight pull. So we had two and two people together, and we just shot and shot and shot and shot and shot. One person loading, one person shooting. And after about 15, 20 minutes, our shoulders were completely battered. And it was just, it was such, such, such fun, I suppose. I mean, we shouldn't, I mean, I suppose it, you can call it fun, but uh, it was just, it's fantastic to be able to actually ha experience that. Yeah, we, we, we did have a blast yesterday, that is for sure. I've never fired so much centrefire ammunition in such a short space of time. I think what really brought a smile to my face is, is when our host said, guys, we've got to get rid of all the ammunition. I thought, really? We had about 800 rounds and they said, we can't take this home with us. You've got to shoot it. Um, it was ridiculous. You know, really good fun. I mean, firstly, it's great fun. You know, we, we always shy away from saying that about shooting, but it was brilliant fun in a safe environment to put some rounds down range in, in semi-automatic guns that we don't have the opportunity to shoot in the UK. Are you afraid to call it fun? Well, I think, I think some people may frown upon it as rifles or guns being fun. There is an element of fun, but we do take it seriously perhaps in the right controlled environment. Uh, and I was amazed at how the guns put up with that kind of hammer. Because there's no way a, a normal human being would put that much ammunition, especially if they're paying for it, uh, through the gun. And to see how well they perform the morale and the, and the BAR as well very reliable. You were my famous loader there Charlie. Yeah. I loaded for you and I got so tired and burnt my, I had a hurty thumb by the way. It was terribly hurty but I'm over it now. You know, ultimately you're looking for mechanical reliability in a, in a gun like that and um, I've been on other events with uh, other guns that have you know, just not been able to put up with that sustained level of abuse. Having many many shots you will learn about the product if it's rifle or shotgun or anything else Lots and lots of rounds, lots and lots of practice, and you soon start understanding the, the you know, the, the, the benefits or the, the, the you know, nothing's perfect, everything's a compromise. I understood the word chingale, that was, that was what does that mean? Wild ball. Oh. We also have a couple of hours of sensible rifle shooting, including help from a top French instructor. I think the most, uh, probably the, the, the most useful thing I've learned this, this uh, last couple of days is the standing techniques and the, and the kneeling techniques. So you actually are, are you flat on the target? Il est euh, droit, est le, le, ventre, le ventre face Non, c'est le, les hanches qui sont orientées 10h, 16h. Les hanches So, so we're not, we're not, not flat. So, no, it, it's not a good enough. This part of the body, with this, it has to be 10 16. 10 16 in front of the, of the target. So 10 or 4? 4, 4, 10 4, 10 4. 4. Sorry, yes, sorry. Yeah, 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 to 4. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yesterday we had the top instructor we were shooting at long ranges and you know, we all of us, you know, even though we're experienced rifle shooters, came away having learned something about technique, having learned some interesting stuff about the product as well. Yes, that's right. I think that the main thing is, is there's no, perhaps there's no right or wrong way and I think the most important thing is to identify what works for you. Uh, and I've been in Germany, I've been in, in England, where I've been trained 
by, by these army instructors. And the guys in Germany actually are saying things differently to what we should be doing, say, in France or in England. So to me, um, that's fascinating. You know, one person saying you should be directly behind the rifle when you're laying prone, and the chap in France says 30 degrees, you know. And um, the chap in France is saying when you're doing your, your shooting, let the air um, come out of your lungs, and like, when they're right of your lungs, then take the shot. Whole breath blow, blow, blow. When you're almost empty, there's about a two or three second dwell period when you're very still before you start going <clears throat> and so that's the time to release the shot. The chap in Germany says that actually just breathe slowly and just take the shot at any time. So, you know, there's no right or wrong, in other words. As an old duffer and a shooter of many years of rifles, you tend to get set in your ways. And I don't tend to take much in the way of standing shots, unless it's on pigs up close. And so he taught me some tricks I didn't know, which I'm certainly going to take back and practice on my personal range because if there's something you can shoot at 100 yards and you're happy with the shot like on a deer I will now take it. Just, just what works for you practice 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 so it's trigger time and just lay down or what you've got to do and just keep on practicing and you'll find out. And the other thing is have a buddy somebody watch you. Tim is impressed by a new version of the Browning X-Bolt that's coming out with a custom Macmillan stock. Um, what stood out for me was um, the stock being a 300 win mag you know they do come back at you it's quite an aggressive round and um, what I found with that it was just after you pull the trigger it just came straight back and it was it, it was more like a 308 perhaps uh, and that was was actually fascinating I liked uh, of the um, X bolts the Macmillan uh, impressed me a lot and the what well, I think perhaps what surprised me is the quality of the triggers yeah there's, there's, you know browning and we're just trying to make a, you know, more tactical rifles perhaps. They need to improve every aspect of that. And the trigger is probably one of the biggest issues manufacturers have. These triggers were absolutely brilliant. Uh, I like the correct optics. Um, they're honest. As, it, as explained to me before, they're not all whistles and bells. They're not these ridiculous... You see some scopes and they've got so much stuff on them. The average guy perhaps buys it because he's told to buy it by the magazines or whatever. And they don't use half the kit or they use it wrong. So kite stroke browning have taken a, a path where sort of, we're making quality optic and I believe it is a quality optic having played with it a little bit at a reasonably fair price uh, with the features you need and not much more which is all you need for a sort of hunting type rifle. Now let's move to shotguns and due to the sheer weight of ammunition on offer we never picked up one shotgun when two would do. You've double gunned most weekends during the season Charlie uh, but for, for us us plebs it's, it's not, not an opportunity to, that we get very often. Um, you must have really enjoyed it. It was great, yeah it was great, you know, not quite the same as the grouse, I know you know, you're telling us how, how much more fun it is with, with grouse. I usually find that, yes. Yeah. Yes, we've had a couple of situations where we had on the shotguns, we had one person loading for you and, uh, one, and I was shooting and we were doing that for about five minutes and I've never experienced how um, after a while is that my arms got so, so tired, I couldn't actually physically hold the shotgun up. And I was handed a new shotgun, and, and after a while, I couldn't actually put it into my shoulder. So I was shooting from below there, it was hurting there, it was hurting there, hurting there. I've never come across that, and it was absolutely amazing. How are you coping as a loader, Pete? Oh, you know, ever servant. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for a top like Tim, it's always good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a double shotgunner at all, and I don't really like double guns but I've got an appreciation today firing the the Browning guns which are super quality and I actually started to do a lot better than my average to crap you know so I, I I don't know if I'll ever buy a double gun but I certainly enjoyed using them and opened my eyes again to another facet of shooting I've always sort of said no it's not for me I'm, I'm a pump semi-auto guy uh, for me the B15 um, it just felt right um, I don't shoot many shotguns but wow uh, we've had I probably shot five or six hundred rounds today and I've got a few more to shoot. These guys are passionate about the product that they produce. Um, you know, they're prepared to put their, those products on the line and say, here you go guys, you know, this is what we do. Give it your best shot. Um, and, and hopefully that gives us a, us a better understanding of the products. You know, the rifle shooting yesterday, we had a top instructor, we were shooting at long ranges. And you know, we all of us, you know, even though we're experienced rifle shooters, came away having learned something about technique, having learned some interesting stuff about the product as well. I am definitely, I am definitely a closet fashion shooter. I just love good gear. As I say, the man who dies with the most toys wins. How very true, Mr Pillbeam. And with that in mind, the other double gunning we do is a kind that would terrify any Grousemore owner. 
double semi-auto Winchester SX4s. Yeah, you shot quite a lot, that's true. That was the purpose of the trip, but there's nothing better than a try instead of a long speech. So yeah, we, we would like you to try it again, to give them a bad time, to show you how they can they can have and how they can they can shoot to to, to make sure you you are convinced by the their reliability and solidity. Well, somebody's got to do it, haven't they? I mean, you know, get a phone call. Do you fancy coming to France? Oh, let me think about it. Yes, I think I will do. <laughs> It is a blast. It is a Browning blast. Let's end on some fabulous Raniero trick shooting. I got to, got to shoot his gun. Oh. <laughs> so I'm now complete. <laughs> For more about all the products you've seen here, go to browning.eu. That's it! <laughs>